Today we are demonstrating how to wash your hands. So here is an overall guide. So I took off my watch because it's been getting in the way. I do often wash my watch, wash my watch, by the way. So I turn on the water to give them, just get them nice and wet. I'm using this hand soap. If I was in a vet clinic, I would be using alcoholic soap. And I pumped, maybe two pumps, and I'm just going to rub it all in my hands. And I'm following all the techniques of, you know, rubbing your thumb. I like to get it underneath my nails, because that's where I get a lot of, like, um, especially when I'm doing with horses, I got a lot of hay and dirt under there. So I like to really, really get it under my nails and try and clean them out as possible. You should wash your hands every time when dealing with an animal because you don't know what diseases they have or you know you could potentially spread it's it's good hygiene all around especially um in the world's current state it's good to know how to properly what and effectively wash your hands so i'm still going still going people wash their hands for quite a while you can sing there's quite a few songs that you can sing while doing this i think happy birthday is the a good amount of time to do it. Some people sing the Gangnam style. There's lots of songs you can sing that helps make the time pass and make sure that you're washing your hands for the appropriate amount of time. And then I've got a towel here that I'm using to turn on the water and then I'm washing my hands again and I'm doing pretty much the same actions I was and making sure all of the suds are off. I also like washing my elbows too and my arms. It makes me feel a bit more clean. And I turn off the tap. And I'm cleaning my hands, drying them with this towel. If I was in a vet clinic, I would be using a disposable paper towel. But seeing as I'm just at home, I'm using a dish towel. I like to get in between my fingers, make sure it's nice and dry. And there you go, you have fresh, sparkly, clean hands. Now on to the next stage. Here you can see I'm putting on my pair of disposable gloves. When working with animals, especially horses, you've got to be wearing gloves pretty much the whole time. Off camera you can't really see it, but I'm also wearing appropriate boots as well. I mentioned that in one of my other videos. And we're going to be cleaning out an enclosure. So let's start with the water filters. I've got a bucket and a sponge. And here's the water filters. You can see it gets a bit grotty because they eat and then they go straight to the water and it messes up their water pretty bad. So I'm turning off the tap so it won't fill up while I'm washing it. You can see I'm pushing down on the plunge and it's not spraying water at me, which is good. I'm trying to get as much of the dirt off as possible so it doesn't clog up my sponge. And I'm on camera now and I'm going to get my bucket and get my sponge and I'm going to scoop out as much of that dirty water as I can. And then the, the dirty water goes out into the garden. With the horse, they, they drink from this and the tap can tell that the water's low so it will fill up automatically. So it's really cool. And i got to make sure to clean underneath the bowl, on both sides of the lid, anywhere where gunk could potentially be hiding. If these don't get cleaned properly, they get pretty gross. And here you can see that I'm just giving you a POV shot. It's much cleaner than before. I like to get really, you know, around it and get all the gunk out as much as possible. And we're done. Look how shiny and cool it is now. And I put down the lid. Oh, I wanted to check something. I'm putting down the lid. I'm going to return the automatic water back on. And it should fill to the appropriate place and then it stops. 
and that's how you check the water. Here you can see this is where the bucket goes. Those are our disposable kind of buckets that we use for odd tasks and then we get rid of them after a month. But they live out there to dry. You can see I'm cleaning it out with the sponge. This is out by the wash bay. And I'm going to put the bucket down and then I go and put the sponge. Well, I wash the sponge using the hose and then I put it back into its little basket. And here you can see the hay feeder and our wheelbarrows where they go when we're done with them. And next we're going to get shavings for to line the stable. And the shavings just make it easier for horses that um, might be having injury. It makes it a softer area for them. And this is our shaving space. So I'm again wearing gloves. I've got my shovel and I've got my boots and I'm just going to be shoveling shavings. They have a really nice like woody pine smell to them and I fill up pretty much an entire wheelbarrow. I pat it down so it doesn't spill and that goes into the stable. Alright, now that's done, you can see me coming through with a wheelbarrow. This is Indy's stall. Oh, I spilled a bit there. And I'm emptying it out and I rotate it to get good coverage. I think I ended up doing two wheelbarrows because we wanted it to be nice and fresh. You can see the old shavings down below are slightly discoloured compared to the new, more golden coloured shavings. And I'm going out now to go get a broom and what I'm going to do with the broom is I'm going to be smoothing down the new shavings on top, kind of like smoothing down cake frosting as it was explained to me and that's just going to give it a much cleaner look. At Foxdale Equestrian we really really pride ourselves on how the stables look and here they are, it's nice and fresh and here you can see me, I'm putting away the broom. The brooms put away and then the willow barrows go back to where I showed you before, right here. On to our next one, we are going to be cleaning out the paddocks. So I've got my willow barrow that we use specifically for fecal matter and I've got my rake and I'm going to be cleaning this paddock. So I look out for little piles like this, horse, <laughs> a horse poo, and I'm using my rake and I've got my willow barrow just out of frame and I scoop it up. And I pour it into the wheelbarrow and I go one by one and I do all the paddocks over the day. And I'm scooping up. I like to get all the little bits out and uh, I often get a bit obsessive trying to collect every little piece out. It's impossible. Horses will generally poo per paddock. Like some poo two piles, some will poo six. Here you can see all the paddocks that I now have to do. 
you got a POV shot of me trying to hold my iPad and trying to scoop the poop out. That's pretty much all we need to do for the paddock. I like to top up water whenever it's getting low and that's pretty much it.